This is a work that I find really interesting because even though it's really an everyday scene, there's a lot of um, maybe kind of misconceptions that feed our interpretation of this work. Um, so I'm interested to see uh, what you can make of it. Uh, what's going on in this picture? There are no men. There are no men. So it's all women. And what else? These little girls are fighting. Uh, how can you tell that they're fighting? Because the one girl is yelling at her wearing red and the little girl in blue has her hands on her head. Oh. And it's like, nah, 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 nah. So, you can tell they're fighting. Okay, <laughs> so the artist gives us some really clear body girls. language. You know, the, the girl in the red top, sort of leaning forward, mouth wide open. The other girls have kind of squinchy faces. It seems like school. Yeah. Like parents yeah. dropping their kids off or picking their kids up or something. Gosh. Moms don't look real happy. <laughs> So there's not many sort of bright smiles on women's faces. How about the scene as a whole? What do you think the mood of the whole picture is? Well, could it be Sunday? Yeah, I'm thinking it could be Sunday. There's the mother has a flower on her pail. Could it be Sunday? Without looking at the title, I'm just going to give it away. How can we tell if it's a school-related thing, as you first thought, or a Sunday, like a church, perhaps? There's no religious imagery in it. Uh -huh. yeah. And that lady, a couple of them have books, but the books are different colors, and they don't say Bible. There's nothing that looks churchy. There are no crosses. Well, they're wearing hats. Yeah, they're wearing hats. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not all of them. Is that a graduation You know, that's one of the misconceptions again, because it has that kind of flat top. But if you look at it closely, it's not a mortar board. It's a, a fancy hat. They're all wearing dresses. Yeah. They're all wearing dresses. They're all wearing dresses. They're all wearing dresses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was so Sunday. Where are their husbands and sons and brothers? Right. Mm -hmm. Could be a Women's Day. I'm going to a Women's Day event this <laughs> Sunday. So it could be Women's Day. Someone mentioned there are no churches in the background. Can you identify the, any types of buildings in the background? I don't know. Like I'm looks school. Like a school. school. Yeah. So but which, I, which part looks like a school and, and how can you tell? Oh, oh, on left. Left. But a lot of churches. But a lot of churches are in schools. Okay. I, I went to school. I went to church in a storefront. So. Back then, I don't see a storefront, but I, you know, I used to go to church here in Maryland. Well, in Maryland, in a, church, a school. So, I think it's probably a school or a church event. Okay. So it doesn't necessarily have to be school because people don't always go in the urban setting. Always have access to a church building. Okay. They do church in different buildings. Okay. Their skirts are too short for. Some of the evidence I hear for school is this fence is built maybe to, to control people to keep them in, so maybe the playground is inside the fence. Um, as you said, there's, there's no men. It's all women and, and female children. Um, the, the clothing will throw your students off. They're not used to an everyday scene where everyone is in dresses or everyone is dressed up. Um, what else is going on? What else can you find? Well, it reminds me of Baltimore with the mm -hmm. red brick and yeah. the stoops and the Federalist architecture. I, the obvious thing to me is that there are black and white children and there's a yes. bright central, there's an African-American woman, you know, holding the hand of an African-American child and what appears to be a white child that has her arm wrapped around that woman and, you know, okay. it seems to be a is it, um, seems like maybe the, the African American women are the ones caring for the kids, and maybe the mom's coming to get her. So, but they're not wearing white yeah. uniforms. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the adults yeah. are, unless I'm getting this wrong, are all African American, the ones that I no. can see. No, do you no. see one? Yes, yes. Like yes. Like but there are children, there are <laughs> Caucasian children. <laughs> well, would the Caucasian children be with their names? Are they nannies or what other roles could they be filling? If it's a school scene, it could be teachers. If this is a school, what do we know about the school based on the people that we see? All girls? It's mixed. It's mixed. It's not segregated by race, just by gender. Um, I don't know. African American people are all different colors. So when yes. I see someone who's lighter, I don't assume they're white. That's true. It, Sometimes you can get into dangerous uh, yeah. zones. I'm, I can't, I'm not saying they are, aren't yeah. at this point. Right. I'm not You're saying right. So we can leave it as an open question mark, but there are certainly children with um, just literally white, like not even, you know, peach colored or... or um, right, because that girl with her hand up stands out to me in the back. Yes. She's like waving. Yes. I can't tell if she's 
That's almost designed to draw your attention to yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Notice me. It's the title is School's Out. So, so whoever said end of the day, whoever said school, those are borne out by the title. It's 1936. Um, what part of the country would we imagine this to be? You said it looks a little like Baltimore. It's going to be in the north. Okay, why does it have to be in the north? Because of the, the integrated mm -hmm. school. Okay, and why does it have to be a big city? How can we tell that about the environment? Because of federalist architecture. Okay, and that's a lot of people. Yes, yeah, the a lot of people have that many children of that age in a small town school. Yes. Um, this artist, one of the reasons that we always put the sort of the birth and the death uh, dates and locations of the artist is to try and give you a sense of where the scene might be um, and what their background knowledge is. Um, Alan Rohan Kreitz spent most of his life in Boston. Um, so we think, you know, based on an interview with him, that this is a South Boston school in 1936. And if you look at the history of segregation in the schools, because he is an African-American artist, this is an African-American show, um, is that the schools were desegregated in the 19th century, but the neighborhoods weren't. So because the schools were disorganized by neighborhood, they were still vast, you know, vastly majority African-American school or white school. Um, so here you see maybe a few who either are light-skinned or are white, but certainly the majority are African-American. 